Shabbat service. Just want to remind people that at 6 p.m., 30 minutes before we start Kabbalat Shabbat, we are offering the Mincha afternoon service. So if you're just arriving now, maybe next week you want to come a little early and join with us for the afternoon worship as well. Now we're going to rise, join together in the blessing over the Shabbat candles that were already lit at the time. We bring in that light and commit to spreading and sharing that light. person beside you, wish them a Shabbat Shalom. Turn to the people behind you, wish them a Shabbat Shalom. Introduce yourself, say hello. Greet everyone all around, extend your hand. Hi, Shabbat Shalom, I'm so-and-so. Hi, Shabbat Shalom, I'm so-and-so. You may be seated. Maybe your name is actually so-and-so, which would be impressive. Yedid Nefesh, page 12. <laughs> Ha 
Psalms, one for each day of the week that will leave behind an opportunity to reflect, to evaluate, and to get ready for Shabbat and eventually for a new week. Beginning with the words of Psalm 95 on page 22, Lechun Eranena Ladonai. Ya 
הלוס סדי בכל אשר בו, אז ירננו כל עצייה. לפני אדוני קיבה הקיבה, לשפוט הארץ, לשפוט הבל בצדק, ועמים באמונתו. אדוני מלאך תגל ארץ, ישמחו עם רבים. Light is sown for the righteous, joy for the upright in heart. Bottom of page 26, the last two lines, or Zarua. and the voice of songs Amru l'Adonai v'chinor v'chinor v'kol zimra middle of page 28 We worship together at the mountain of God. This is Parshat Yitro. Moses goes up the mountain, gets the two tablets, the Ten Commandments. This is our Parsha of mountains. Romamu, bottom of page 30. Join with us. Oh, my God. 
אדוני אלוהינו והשתחוו להקודשו. רוממו אדוני אלוהינו והשתחוו להקודשו. As we turn to page 34 for Mizmor Le David. Mizmor Le David, Havu l'adonai b'nei eli, Havu l'adonai kavod v'oz, Havu l'adonai kavod shemo, Hishtachavu l'adonai behadrat kodesh, Kol adonai al hamayim, אל הכבוד היהירי, אדוני אל מים רבים. כל אדוני בכוח, כל אדוני בהדר, כל אדוני שובר ארזים, וישבר אדוני את ארזי הלבנון. וירקידם כמו עגל, לבנון וסיריון, כמו בן, כמו בן רעמי. כל אדוני חוצב לבוטש, כל אדוני יכיל מדבר, יכיל אדוני מדבר קדש. כל אדוני יכול לילות, ויחסוב יהרות, ובהיכלו כולו אומר כבוד, כולו אומר, כולו אומר כבוד. אדוני למה הוא ישר, וישב אדוני מלך. לעולם אדוני עוז לעמו ייתן אדוני יברך את עמו ושלום page 38 and page 40 and I just realized what actually happened this past week I was teaching the final class on the four-part adult education series on various matters relating to what's happening in Israel and in the Jewish world and this last class was entitled hope and the topic was Israel and what people may not have been aware of was the fact that I was actually hoping to go to Israel this coming week. And two minutes before the class began, I got the phone call on Tuesday night that there was space for me on this Greater Miami Jewish Federation Solidarity Mission, going with Trevor here, so you know I'm giving you the MS, going with an actual group, actual people. And I got the call to go and immediately scrambled to get tickets and realized that you really don't need more than three days to get ready to go to Israel. And I think the same is true for us each and every week with respect to Shabbat. You don't actually need six whole days to get ready for Shabbat. You just need maybe one day, maybe even a few hours. Sometimes we think of Shabbat as this overwhelming concept that if we don't spend the whole week preparing and planning and deciding what it is that we're going to do and what we're not going to do and who we're going to do it with and maybe it's so overwhelming that now we'll just treat it like any other day but I learned this week and I think we all know something that is true which is that it only takes as much time as you have in order to get ready for something once you've decided that this is important that this is a priority, that this is something that you want to have in your life. 
For me, it's about getting to Israel as often as I can. And I know the same is true for Rabbi Guido. But for all of us at this moment on Shabbat, it's about getting ready for Shabbat. It's about making sure that we are committed to carving out these, this day for reflection, for inspiration, for rejuvenation, uh, and for community, and for family, and for friends, and for soulful contemplation and prayer. For this prayer, the Chadudi gets us ready for Shabbat, whether we've spent the whole week preparing, or whether it's just wasn't until we walked into the sanctuary we realized that Shabbos is here. May Shabbos be a peaceful one for all of us and for all of Israel. Amen. L'chadodi, page 38 and 40, join together with us. We rise as we turn and face the entrance, bowing together as we welcome Shabbat into this night, into our hearts, and into this holy space. Bottom of page 40.
Shabbat is here and as we welcome Shabbat we shift our spiritual intentions towards one of the most important virtues that the Jew must have which is gratitude Yehudi to be a Jew in Hebrew comes from the same root of the word Lehodot which means to be grateful a Jew is someone who knows how to show and express gratitude instead of complaining all the time about the things that we don't have we have one full day in which we don't think about that which we miss, but actually we look around and we express our gratitude, not only for what we have, but mainly for who we are. It is good to thank you, O Lord, to sing praises to your exalted name. Page 42. Righteous will flourish like the palm tree, they will thrive like the cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Tzadik katamari frach keirez balvanon isge. Bottom of page 42. Adonai Malach Keut Lavesh 
לבש אדוני עוזי תזר, אף תיקון תבל, בל תיבות אף תיקון תבל, בל תיבות. נכון כשכר us in mourning or those observing your site, page 124. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shmei rabah b'alma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayichon v'yomeichon v'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael ba'agala v'vizman kari v'imru amen. Yehei shmei rabah mevorach l'olam o'meomaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnasei V'yitadar, v'yitalei, v'yitalal, sh'mei d'kudesha b'richu. L'ela min kol b'rchata v'shirata, tush b'rchata v'nechamata, da'amiran b'yama v'imru amen. Hei shlama raba min shemaya, v'chaim aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom b'imru mav, hu y'ase shalom aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru amen. The rest of the congregation is invited to rise with the mourners. As we transition now into the evening service with the blessings of the Baruch Hu, the call to worship, page 50. for the Shema, page 52. <laughs>
ואהבת את אדוני אלוהיך בכל אהבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצווך היום על לבביך ושיננת העם לבניך ודיברת עמם ושבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והעיר את הטפות בין עיניך וכתבת העם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תסגרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני היא אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני היא אדוני אלוהיכם אדוני אלוהיכם אמת Shalom, 
ושכיבנו אדוני אלוהינו לשלום ועמידנו מלכה ועמידנו לחיים to the sick and the sufferings and your hope to the forgotten and the lonely send your love to the confused and the distressed send your light to the weary and the wrong send renew its strength to the pursuers of justice and wisdom and faith to the seekers of peace send unwavering resolve to Jerusalem and its people send tranquility and joy to the world tonight send the blessings of Shalom us in every generation to observe Shabbat and keep it holy, top of 64, Vishamru. Vishamru b'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat l'asot et ha-Shabbat v'edot ha-merit olam. Vishamru b'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat ששת ימים עשה אדוני, עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ. ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת, לעשות את השבת בדורות המרית עולם. וביום השביעי שבת ואי נפש, שבת ואי נפש, שבת ואי נפש. ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת, לעשות את השבת בדורות הברית עולם. גדל והתקדש שמר הבא ועל מה דיברה חירותה וימליך מלכותה לך היה חול וביומי חול ובחיי דכל בית ישראל באה דלה באה דלה ובזמן כהריב 
וימרו אמן. יש מרב המבורך, ועל העולם מעמיה, תתברך. יתברך וישתבח, ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנעשה, ויתהדה, ויתהלה. ויתהלל שמי דקודשה בריחו לעילם מכל ברכתה ושירתה תוש וחטא ונחם מטה גם איראן באלמה ואינרו אמן For the private Amida we offer six Hebrew words on the top of 69 O oh Lord, open up our lips so that our mouths may declare your praise, Adonai Sfatai Tiftach. Yeah. 
May be seated, page 82. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Veloi Avoteinu Vimoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leah Ha'el Ha'el Ha'gadol Ha'gibor Ve'anora More lines from the top of page 84. Purify our hearts to serve you in truth and help us to enjoy and love and favor the heritage of your holy Shabbat.
ואין כי לאין אדוני אלוהינו, הוא עבר רצון של הקודשך, אבי אדוך הוא בישראל מקדשי שמך, אבי אדוך אתה אדוני, מקדש השבח. פרש 86. יתגדל ויתגדל שמר רבה, ואלמד עם החירות איבה מלך מנחות איבך, יכונו וימכונו וחיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה בזמן קריא וימרו. אמן. יש מר רבה מבורך, לעלם ולעל מעל מאיה. ברח והשתבח והתפאר בתרומם והתנשא והתהדר והתעלה והתעלה להשמד הקודשה בריחו ללה מכל ברכתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה דאמירם ועל מה ואימרו אמן תתקבל צלות הונו אותו נכון בית ישראל קודם עבור הון דבשמע ואימרו אמן יש למה רבה משמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואימרו אמן הוא עושה שלום במרומיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואימרו אמן. But shalom everyone. One of the phrases that a rabbi hears more often is rabbi I think the Sinai should do this. I think we should do that. I think we should have Mincha services. I think we should have a choir. I think we should have a Purim spiel, and so forth and so on. To which I often reply, yeah, I also think that, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Would you come? Oh, no. no. Would you lead it? Oh, no, that's not for me. You know, Mincha, it's too early. Shacharit is too, you know, too late. Purim spiel is not, not my thing. I'm not that much of a singer, but we should, right? We should. And of course, you know, it's, it's very difficult to build community when the opening phrase is, we should, but it actually implies, you should. When people say, like, the synagogue should have a choir, they seem to imply that the windows sing and that the columns can do harmonies. And you know, this week's Parsha, among other things, speaks about that. Speaks about the way Judaism sees leadership and the shared burden in building a community. There are two moments from this week's Parsha that I want to learn with you, and also a moment from last week's Parsha. Let's begin with the first one, the episode that gives the name to the Parsha, Itro. Itro is Moshe's father-in-law, he looks at Moshe and he realizes that Moshe is very stressed, that he cannot deal with all of the situations that the nation requires from him. They, they need him as a judge, as a leader, as the manager of the finances of the people. Moshe needs to deal with solving family situations in some families but also he needs to part the sea, he needs to talk to Pharaoh, he needs to lead the nation in war, and he cannot do everything. And Itro, his father-in-law, sits with Moshe and tells him, I think you have a problem. You know, that's, that's not the way to live. Living doesn't mean that you have to do everything. Living means that you have to find the right people to lead different aspects of the life of the nation and you will coordinate. And so Itro proposes a system, a judicial system for the Israelite nation that Moshe ends up implementing. And by doing that, he makes sure that only the very, very important aspects of the life of the nations are going to be decided by Moshe, kind of a Supreme Court. And the rest will be dealt by the rest of the leaders in different tribes. The other verse from this week's Parsha that I want to highlight is a verse in which God tells Moshe, tell the Israelites, Ve'atem li mamlechet ko'anim ve'goi kadosh. You will be to me a holy people and a nation, a kingdom of priests. Now, you know, priesthood is something that usually is reserved for a very few. In most of the religious cultures, the priests are a select group that have the privilege, the honor, and the responsibility 
of leading the people. And there are many things that priests can do and that regular people cannot do. But you also know that in Judaism we don't have that. You don't need a rabbi to marry a couple. You don't need a rabbi to officiate at the funeral. You don't need a rabbi to affix a mezuzah. You don't need a rabbi to lead services. Actually, we were joking earlier today because one of our congregants introduced herself and she said, Rabbi Berkun married my daughter. And I asked, like, so is Rabbi Berkun your son-in-law? Oh, no, I mean he did the wedding. Okay, so you don't need a rabbi to marry your daughter unless you want to have a rabbi as your son-in-law. You don't need a rabbi to fix a mezuzah. You don't need a rabbi to do a bar mitzvah. You just need 10 Jews for most of these things. As the famous saying in Yiddish says, nine rabbis don't make a minion, but 10 shoemakers do. So when God is telling Moshe, be a kingdom of priests, what God is telling Moshe is basically, you are not the only one. You will share the honor, the kavod, the responsibility, and the burden with every single Jew. Weizmann, the first president of the state of Israel, famously said in a public speech, the problem that I have is that I am the president of a country that has four million presidents. That's, that's you know, it's like being a rabbi of a congregation that has a couple of hundred rabbis. And the other episode that I wanted to allude to is last week's Parsha, when Moshe implores to God that he has to part the sea. And according to the Midrash, God replies to Moshe, do you really think that half a million people are praying, and now because you are praying, I'm going to do something different? Their prayers are as powerful as your prayers. It doesn't make a difference that Moshe is praying. There's already half a million people praying, and I'm going to part the sea not because of your cry, but because of theirs. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to teach is that in Judaism, there's no privilege to a leader, but also there's no exclusive responsibility for that leader to be community, to build the space that we share and that we all own. And that responsibility is a responsibility shared with each and every one of the constituents, of the members of that nation, of that group, of that congregation. Yes, I know we should have Mincha, but if I show up for Mincha and nine other Jews don't, we won't have Mincha. Yes, we should have a choir, but in order for a choir to exist, you need more than one voice. And mine is not the best, by the way. <laughs> we should have classes, but the teacher without students doesn't make a class. And if you think about the important and difficult moment that the Jewish nation is going through in these particular days, it is even more urgent than each and every one of us assumes the responsibility that they have to assume. Because as we have said many times in this war against the Jewish people, each and every one of us is a soldier. We have a role to play. And yes, rabbis can lead some soldiers will fight, politicians will do their part, but there's no one that doesn't have a responsibility on this. And if we expect someone else to do it, of course, no one will do it. When God creates this holy nation that is unique and very special, among other things in the fact that has no special people, no VIPs, that has millions of presidents, millions of rabbis, millions of teachers and coaches. What God is saying is, you cannot remove yourself from the challenge. Other cultures have people that are gods or sons of gods. There are cultures that have people who are prophets that no one can attain that level of prophecy. The Jewish people is a people of equals and as such, we all have to play a role in building that which belongs to all of us. I think the fact that we are trying to build the Mincha Minion for Mondays and Fridays and hopefully for other days of the week in the coming future 
is the perfect example on how important it is for each and every one of us to take the future of the Jewish people in your own hands and to decide what role are you going to play in this challenge. Yes, Moshe can do his part, but Moshe alone doesn't get you to the promised land. Hopefully, we will all march together towards the promised land, finding out which special role, which special ingredient we can contribute. And of course, when we all do our share, we will have a strong minion. Wishing everyone a Shabbat Shalom. We are going to invite our children to come up to the Bima as we give them the opportunity to touch the Torah, to kiss the Torah, and we bless them with the holy words of Birkata Kohanim, the priestly benediction. Please rise. Yesimech Elohim Kesara May God make you as our mother Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. Yesimcha Elohim, Ephraim, Vechi Menashe. May God bless you as Ephraim and Menashe. Yevarech Adonai, Veish Merecha. Yair Adonai Pana Velecha Vichuneka Nisa Adonai Pana Velecha Veya Hasem Lecha Shalom May God bless you and protect you. May God show you favor, be gracious to you. May God show you kindness and bless you. The Shabbat of Shalom, the future of Shalom, the world of Shalom, as we all say, Amen. Iladim, I invite you to give the Torah scrolls a kiss before you return to your places. Page 118, we remain standing. <laughs> Emet Malkeinu, Efe Zulato, Kaka Hatu, Betorato, Veyadata Yom, Veyadata Yom, Vashemota, Eleva Vecha, Ki Adonai, Ua Elohim, Basha Hamai, Mimal, Vehala Aretz, Vehala Aretz, Mitachat Ein O. כתוב בתורתך אדוני ימלוך לעולם בעד ונאמר והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ ביום ההוא ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו 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 Offer a prayer for the soldiers of the IDF, followed by a prayer for those who continue to be held hostage. <laughs> Avoteinu, 
אברהם, יצחק ויעקב, הוא יברך את חיילי צבא ההגנה לישראל, הוא יברך את חיילי צבא ההגנה לישראל, הוא יברך את חיילי צבא ההגנה and the captive, a prayer for the hostages. God of Israel, our rock and our redeemer, God of mercy, of compassion, we pray, we plead that you return these precious and beloved people, the captured and the missing, who have cruelly and heartlessly been torn from their homes and carried off to our enemy's territory. We are terrified, contemplating their fate, horrified at the thought of the sufferings of the missing and captured who are not yet within our power to reach. And so we plead before you, source of mercy, be at their side. Support them, protect them, and quickly bring them back to the embrace of their families and all who love them. As you have declared, behold, I will restore the captives of Jacob's tents and have mercy on their dwelling places. We beseech you, Adonai, quickly fulfill your word. Here I am with you. I will watch over you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. Indeed, I will not leave you until I have done what I have said for you. Amen. Those of us in mourning or observing your sight remain standing. The rest of us may be seated. This past uh, week, we mourn the passing of our uh, beloved Shabbat regular Herbert Mensch. We also mourn the passing of Helen Whiteman. We mourn the passing of Victoria Dachan. And we extend our condolences to Biel Mikulitsky on the loss of her beloved father. This coming week, we observe the following yard sites with love. We remember Stephen Bacalars, Sylvia Berkson, Herman Bernstein, Arlene Blasberg, Samuel Cohen, Elliot Freed, Evelyn Goldberg, Bell Hecht, Molly Hershenson, Nat Kalka, Misha Kaplun, Nathan Kisner, Anna Corner, Sadie Margulius, William Margulius, Henry Nath, Samuel Potash, Jeffrey Reisman, Sylvia Rosner, Samuel Rotberg Smith, Besso Saba, Amalia Serebrenik, Paul Solomon, Ernest Starin, Celia Wasserman, Sally Wine, and Arlene Weinberg. In solemn testimony to the unbroken faith that links the generations one to another, those in mourning and those observing yard site join together with the words of the Mourner's Kaddish on page 124. <laughs> Bialma di Vrachewite, Vyamich Machute, Bechayechon, Vyomechon, Vchaye, the whole Beit Israel, Baagala, Uizman, Kariv, Imru, Amen. Amen. Tush bechata v'nechemata d'amiran b'yama v'imru amen. Yehei shlama rabba min shemaya b'chayim aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Oseh shalom b'romav hu ya'aseh shalom aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru amen.
May be seated. I want to call everyone's attention to our Shabbat program. I don't want to read the whole program with you for you, but there are so many exciting things going on at ATJC that I need to highlight some of them. We will start with what will happen tomorrow morning during services. We will be celebrating Cantor Roger Rosenthal. Roger Roger concluded his cantorial studies at the seminario. He is officially a chazan, so we'll, we'll be celebrating him tomorrow during services, and he will be sharing with us some music and some Torah in, in the place of the sermon, and there will be a special Kiddush lunch in his honor. So I strongly encourage everyone to come celebrate uh, Roger. Cantor Roger. Canto Roger, Hazan Roger. <laughs> See, it's going to uh, take time. It's we also want time. to welcome Daniel and Graciela, his parents who flew all the way from Israel to celebrate Gilly's birthday, which is today, <laughs> right? And also to celebrate Roger. Canto Roger. Happy Tell birthday, him. Gilly. Old habits. We will sing Yom Uledet Sameach over <laughs> Kiddush. Today is Gilly's 11th birthday. And there are many things happening at ATJC. I strongly encourage you to register for the program we have on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Those of you who are used to pro-Israel conversations, you know the names, and if you are not used to it, believe me, this is a program you don't want to miss. Betsy Korn, which is the chair of the board of directors of APAC, For Mark Rowan, former chair. Mark Rowan and Jonathan Schanzer will be discussing anti-Semitism, Israel, and the Middle East in a program that we are hosting together with the Youth Renewal Fund. These are like top three people to talk about Israel and anti-Semitism in America. And the program is going to be unique, only taking place here at ATJC. You don't want to miss it. You have to register for coming. This is Tuesday at 6 p.m. And in the same uh, theme, the following Saturday, Saturday... Tuesday the 6th at 7 p.m. Okay, Tuesday the 6th at 7 p.m. Just read the program. <laughs> uh, the following Saturday, also a very exciting uh, guest, Gil Hoffman, who used to be the political correspondent, chief political correspondent for the Jerusalem Post, and now is the executive director of Honest Reporting, will be sharing his reflections from the Bima during Shabbat morning services around 10 a.m., 10.30 on Saturday, February the 10th. There are many, many other things taking place at ATJC, including a concert with violins that were rescued from the Holocaust, our Tel Aviv White Night Gala, and more. So take the Shabbat program with you and make sure you save the date for all these events. But truly, Tuesday and the following Saturday are very, very interesting programs if you are into Israel, and if you're not, you should be. So please join us. The other thing that I want to highlight, two opportunities for traveling with ATJC, and if you don't know what traveling with ATJC looks like, the whole group that traveled with me to Argentina is here. We are going to be sharing later a Shabbat dinner. We are going to Spain on October 27th, congregational trip to Spain and Portugal. There's a page on the brochure, scan the QR code and you'll see the whole program. But we are also launching an initiative to travel during spring break with teenagers and their parents to Israel on a solidarity mission, four days. And the cost of the trip will be highly subsidized for the teenagers. So if you know teenagers who are interested on traveling to Israel with one of their parents, Talk to me, or to Roger, or to Rabbi Berkun. We want to build a group of at least 20 people. And if that happens, we will travel to Israel with our youth. Uh, it is a very important mitzvah these days to go to Israel to say, Hineni, we are here. So hopefully we will be able to populate the list and to travel to Israel. Again, if you want to know how traveling to Israel looks like, you can ask Paula or Shanina or Mark. Who else is here? Shirley. Shirley was here. Shirley is there, okay, who traveled also in the Solidarity Mission. Take the Shabbat program. There's much more than that taking place here and at ATJC. And as I mentioned, this coming Monday, Mincha services at 5.30 p.m. and Fridays at 6 p.m. We try to bring back Mincha 
to our weekly schedule of programs and prayers, daily minion every morning, 8.30 a.m., followed by breakfast. We wish Rabbi Berkun safe travels to Israel. He is going on the Greater Miami Jewish Federation Solidarity Mission for the top donors of the Federation, the only rabbi on the bus representing not only ATJC but all of Miami rabbis. We're very proud, very happy that you are traveling and we look forward to hearing your reflections hopefully Thank next you. Shabbat. Thank you. Please rise, ladies and gentlemen, as we conclude our tefillah with Israel's national anthem, the Hope Hatikva. Then join us, please, for Kiddush Hamotzi and uh, Nash in the social hall following services. <laughs> Please turn to the person beside you, wish them a Shabbat Shalom. If you know them and love them, give them a hug and a kiss. Join together with Cantor Roger Inemato. Oh. Uh -huh.